Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for more Raw Round Robin tournament action. Starting off with Group F here in the third round. We got Matt Hardy and Victoria getting ready to do battle. Now, Matt Hardy is currently sitting in first, or tied for first place, I should say, with four points. Victoria yet to get on the board yet. Let's see if some, uh, if anything can change around for her. She needs to dodge those discus punch from Matt that we just saw him throw, but she gets a hold of him. Going for the backslide, looking for an early win here. Only a zero count from referee Earl Hebner there. Goes for the elbow drop, but misses. Matt gets a hold of her. She ducks the elbow. And another roll up. Another quick pin here by Victoria. Not a bad strategy whatsoever. Elbow drop there by Victoria. She gets a hold of him. Scoop and a slam onto Matt Hardy version 1.0. I guess it's just version one, but, but either way. Version one, nah. Sorry, I gotta say it that way. Good combo there by Matt Hardy. A kick to the gut, punch to the face, and then a falling fist to the to the body of Victoria. She was down, but she's back up. Going for another backslide. Super in the ropes. As you can tell there by referee Earl Hebner. Telling us it's a rope break. A couple right hands there by Matt. Gets a hold of her. Irish whips her into the ropes. Into a back body drop. Just lifting her up and tossing her back like this piece of trash that he thinks she is. Then a forearm right to the face. Small package here by Matt Hardy. One. Only a one count as Victoria kicks out fairly easily. Then Matt Hardy grabs her and hits her with a DDT, just dropping her flat on her head. Now getting a hold of her, now trying to rip her head off. Matt Hardy showing some aggression here as he needs to. Try to get back into first place or get a commanding lead. Not a commanding lead, but like first place all by himself. That's what I was trying to get to. He's looking good so far, about two minutes into this matchup. But Victoria coming back with a nice clothesline, dropping Matt Hardy down. And then just throwing him head first, or yeah, head first into the mat, now punching away. Dropping left to hands across his face. Matt Hardy back up, goes for the discus, but misses. And a snap suplex there by Victoria puts him right back down, following it up with an elbow drop. Dodges the, uh, blocks the punch and hits him with another clothesline and an elbow drop to follow it up with. It is all Victoria as Matt Hardy gets the back. No, Victoria swap or reversing it again with the snapmare now just slamming his head over and over into the canvas. See what she does here. She picks him up and another suplex there by Victoria. And she is looking good here tonight against Matt Hardy. Goes for the super kick, but he catches it, drops an elbow down, blocks another strike from her. But Matt Hardy misses the drop kick. And the discus punch chopped by Victoria misses into a Russian leg sweep by Matt Hardy. Going for the legs. What's he got planned here? Nothing as Victoria rolls out of it. Better's to their feet. Matt Hardy turns around into a super kick. Gets laid out, going for that discus punch now, just spamming him. Goes and chops lefts and rights, coming from all directions. I think he got dizzy and goes for a spinny heel kick that was nowhere near Victoria there. Goes for another discus, she saw it coming. Nice back roll up. Only a one count though, as Matt Hardy's able to kick out and then drop the fist onto her foot. That discus punch sends her down, he talks a little trash. Showing, him, showing everybody why he's version one. He picks her up. Oh, nice cross body there by Victoria. Oh, she's going to the top rope. What she got planned here? Goes to crown him, but he dodged out of the way, just jumped out of the way as fast as he could. Now they're both just throwing strikes, lefts and rights. Super kicks, discus punches, all the fun stuff. Victoria getting a hold of Matt Hardy, picks him up. Nice neck, oh, I'm sorry, backbreaker there by Victoria. Going for the pin, but that's gonna be a rope break. Very easy rope break. He was super in the ropes. Matt Hardy gets a nice spinning neck breaker onto Victoria, putting her down on the mat. And again, Victoria rolling out of whatever leg move Matt Hardy was going for. Matt grabs her forearm, puts her into the ropes. Going for something there, but didn't quite get it. Victoria gets behind him, and Matt Hardy reverses it with a snapmare. We got some interference. As Victoria sweeps the leg, we have Stacy Keebler coming out. Victoria going for the pin, only gets a one count. Keebler going after Stacy. I'm sorry, Stacy going after Victoria. There we go, that's the sentence. 
Victoria going for another pinfall after the super kick, but it's broken up by the rope. And a spinning heel kick dropping her. Just that big roundhouse kick. I guess if you want to call it. Super kick by Victoria dropping Matt Hardy. That could be it right here. We got a one. And only a one as Matt Hardy kicks out of it. But Victoria hits him with the, I'm sorry, Stacy hits him with the uh, roundhouse kick. Kick to the ass onto Stacy. Stacy just hitting everybody with the, that spinning kick. Now taking Victoria up to the top rope. What she got planned here. Super back suplex, dropping Victoria on the back of her head. And then Stacy not allowing Matt to get the pin. Just kicking him the second he goes for it. Stacy going for the pin. Matt Hardy tried to break it up, but missed. I don't know what he's thinking there. Stacy rolling out of the ring. Matt Hardy punching turnbuckles. Now he's going for the pin on Victoria. And just a two count. If referee Earl Hebner would have counted a little faster, that was three. I thought it was. Personally, but no. Victoria able to stay in this fight. Matt Hardy gets a hold of her. And just nice side effect, I think, or sidewinder, something like that. I can't remember what that move's called. But either way, it was nicely done. He's going for the pin off of it. Just a two count if Victoria kicks out again. A bit of a slow count there by uh, Earl Hebner. One, two. Another pinfall okay. count and just a two count, 2.9. Even with the slower count, Victoria looks like she might be down and out for the count. If Matt Hardy can just land one more big move, but a headlock takedown by Victoria. And then she's going for the pin. She gets a one. She gets a no, just a one. Matt Hardy able to get up right before the two count. Victoria gets a hold of Matt Hardy. Goes for the forearm. He ducks, gets behind her, going for the backslide. Got her, but that's going to be in the ropes. And nothing will come of that attempt. Victoria again, another forearm. Goes for the chop. Both missing strikes. Victoria grabs him, gets behind him, lifts him up, plants him down, back suplex. A little backdrop, whatever you want to call it, it's effective. Victoria going for the pin here. One, and only one. Victoria does here after a couple of ground strikes, grabs Matt Hardy again, kick him in the gut. Matt Hardy now from behind, make that from the front. Kicks her in the gut, punch in the face, drops her. Nice little combo, going for the pin off of it. We got a one, two, no, only a two count. Victoria's still in this fight. Matt Hardy cannot believe it as he goes for another attempt. Just a one count this time from uh, referee Earl Hebner. Victoria gets a hold of Matt Hardy, goes from behind and nails him with the neck breaker. Bringing him down, now stomping him out as he's down. She's going back to the top rope. What she got planned here? Goes to crown him, but misses. Matt Hardy grabs her. Hits her with another side effect. Just looking at her, drops the elbows. Now, she, now he's going for a pinfall. One, two. Gets two. Oh, could have got three if Earl Hebner would have kept counting. But it's only going to be a two if we have less than two minutes left in this matchup. Matt Hardy dropping fists down. Misses with the discus punch. Victoria grabs him, goes behind. Nice face crusher there by Victoria. Now she's going to go for a pin on that. Gets one, gets two. Oh, only two as Matt Hardy kicks out right away. Another pinfall attempt here by Victoria. And another two count. Matt Hardy's getting close, but the time limit's getting closer. Kick to the gut, drops Matt Hardy. He's stomping him on the shoulder. See if he, she can do here. She goes for a pin, only gets a one though. As referee Earl Hebner counting a little slower than normal. Couple missed punches there, chop. But Victoria goes underneath and hits him with the backdrop. Pinfall attempt by Victoria, we got a one. And only a one as the referee's slow count will not keep Matt Hardy down. Scoop and a slam by Victoria with 40 seconds left. She goes for the pin. One. Earl Hebner was staring at something there for a while. I wonder what that might have been. Referee, pay attention to what you're doing as we got 30 seconds left in this matchup before the time limit draw. Victoria clubbing Matt Hardy down to the mat, going for a pin on that, but I think it might be a rope break. One, no, it's not. We got a one, two. we got a two, and no. 
only a two. Oh, we'll drop by Victoria with less than 10 seconds left. She grabs him, kick to the gut. That's gonna just about do it if she misses the super kick. This is gonna end up being a time limit draw, so no points awarded to either competitor. Matt Hardy clubs her in the back for no reason. Let's go ahead and move on to our next matchup. We have got Test taking on Rikishi. Both competitors looking to get their first points of the tournament here in this matchup. See what they can do as we start things off. Test coming in quick. Rikishi able to get out the way. Ket goes for a kick, but Test catches it, picks him up, and slams him down with a side slam. That's showing some power, picking the big man up, now just punching him right in the head over and over again. But I don't know how effective that's going to be against a man like Rikishi. He does here as he picks up Kishi with a suplex. Tess knows what to do, but he's showing some aggression, just grabbing Rikishi, not really giving him a second to breathe as he picks him up again and just holds him up there, drops him down. Beautifully done by Test. And again, back to the hands, right to the face. Just punching him over and over again. Kishi gets a hold of Tess though, finally. Iris whip into the ropes, and nothing comes of it as Tess just runs on by. Tess grabs for Kishi again, picks him up again, another suplex there by Tess. He's showing all his power, but Kishi finally able to club him down to the mat and drops the big leg right across the back of his shoulders. She grabs him again, belly to belly suplex, just slamming him down. Follows it up with a stomp and a leg drop. Tess back on his feet though, catches the super kick and sweeps the leg, dropping him down. He's going for the one-legged Boston Crab. The single leg, and no, Kishi able to power out of it. Tess now got the legs, stomps him in the right leg. Follows it up with an elbow drop, doesn't quite connect. He grabs for Kishi anyway. Irish whip reversed. Nothing comes again. Tess just running by. Goes for the big boot, but they both miss. As Kishi was going for a clothesline, but he grabs him. And Kishi with another belly to belly suplex. Putting Tess down on the mat. Right now by Kishi. Blocked by Tess. Tess gets a hold of Kishi from behind. Picks him up. Full Nelson slam by Tess. Beautifully done. Goes for the big boot, but Kishi. But Rikishi reverses it into a belly to back drop or suplex or whatever the hell it's called. I don't fucking know. Double right hand, a right hand, and a big boot by Tess. Drops Rikishi, but he's back on his feet, grabs Tess, hits him with a kick to the gut. Ooh, good elbow there by Rikishi, drop it, Tess. Goes for the leg drop, but Tess able to get up right away. Irish whip into the ropes. Tilt to whirl, slam by Tess, showing the power just. Throwing this big man around like he weighs nothing and then punches him in the face over and over. And another punch. Kishi able to reverse that one and put him into a back suplex. Now stomping away on him. Dropping the leg again, but Tess gets up. Big boot dropping Rikishi again. Big boot puts him into the ropes. Tess starts climbing back over. I don't know what was going on there. Now they're just going in and out from the apron to the outside. Now Kishi on the outside. Tess going to fight as Kishi raises the roof. Both competitors just throwing hands. Referee up to a four count. Tess just throwing rights and lefts. Oh, Samoan drop by Rikishi. If he gets in the ring, he could get some points right here, but the idiot decided to go after Tess instead. And that's going to be a double count out as Tess hits the side slam. No points awarded to either of these dummies. Let's move on to the next matchup. Our next matchup is Chuck Palumbo taking on William Regal. Two heavy hitters getting ready to do battle here in Group F, round number three. Here we go, Chuck Palumbo coming in hot. The dodges the kick and hits him with, hits Regal with a nice chop that sends him down to the mat. Now stomping away, goes for the legs, but Regal gets right back up, grabs Palumbo from behind, moves to the front. Goes with the small package, trying to get an early win. Using some of that wrestling technician ability that Regal has. So I don't know how technical that is though, as he just starts choking the shit out of him. But either way, right hand by Regal, right hand by Palumbo misses. Regal grabs him. 
Irish whip into the corner. He'll go plotting his next move. There it is, they're going after that right arm of Chuck Palumbo, trying to weaken it a bit. Palumbo grabs Regal, sends him into the corner himself. Right hand misses, and again as Regal connects with a right hand after blocking the last one Palumbo threw into another small package. Not even a one count as he's able to kick out before Earl Hebner can get over there. Regal grabs Palumbo again, into the double knees to the face. Regal does here from behind into the stretch. The abdominal stretch, and no, nice counter there by Palumbo to get out of it. And follows it up with a Russian leg sweep. Palumbo's doing his homework. But it doesn't matter when Regal can take you down that quickly. Discus punch by Palumbo finally lands, goes for another one, that does not. As Regal's able to hit a right hand punch. Palumbo sends him into the corner. Goes for the clothesline, Regal gets out of the way, grabs Palumbo from behind, into a, wow, a dragon suplex. Now Regal going up top, goes to crown him, but Palumbo just punches him, punches his legs down, Regal fell like a sack of shit. Now Palumbo from behind, picks him up, drops him down with a backbreaker. Follows it up with an elbow drop, but Regal gets back on his feet. Palumbo blocks the punch with one of his own. Into a clothesline that sends Regal up and over to the outside. Chuck Palumbo follows him out immediately. And then these two start throwing fists again, rights by both guys. Regal going back into the ring, smart move. Palumbo goes to follow him. And they're stuck in a loop now. This one should get broken soon, hopefully. You never know, referee's counting unbelievably fast as he's getting up to three count on some of these. Another two count by the referee as Regal goes out, Palumbo goes out now, Regal goes in, Palumbo goes back in. These loops are a killer in this game. But what are you gonna do, man? About three minutes in this matchup. We've been having a loop for about a minute now. I think I should duck points. There we go. Palumbo finally doing a taunt to break the loop, break the cycle. Now they're back to throwing fisticuffs. Now, oh, I thought Rigo was about to send Palumbo up and out, but no. Ends up hitting him with the Russian leg sweep though instead. And back on their feet, super kick puts Regal into the ropes. And a clothesline again sends him up and over to the outside. Both men on the outside now. Regal grabs him from behind, hits him with the Russian leg sweep as the referee gets up to a five count. Stop by Regal misses, both men up. Regal grabs him from behind. Russian leg sweep. Run into the ring, Regal, run in the ring. Oh, you fucking idiot. Another double count out, no points awarded to either competitor. Let's go on to our main event of the night. We've got Eddie Guerrero taking on Spike Dudley. Spike Dudley currently sitting in first place with four points tied with Matt Hardy. So he's definitely looking to get some points to uh, take over the number one spot solo style. Here we go as Spike Dudley hitting Matt, uh, Eddie with a punch to the head and follows up with a Hurricanrana into the pin. Nick Patrick right on top of it, but he, Eddie kicks out before he can even count to one. Eddie grabs Spike, goes for the right hand, he misses Spike from behind now. Oh, nice little roll up there by Spike Dudley. And again, not even a one count. This Nick Patrick kind of took a little bit late to the, late to the pin or to the counting there. And he goes for a kick. Spike caught it, threw him backwards. Now Spike grabs him, throws him face first into the mat. Does here as Eddie gets a hold of Spike Dudley, throws him into the corner. Didn't do something here. No, he just kind of looks at Spike, goes for right hand, but Spike dodges, grabs Eddie Guerrero, and throws him face first into the mat himself. Grab each other. Nice swinging neck breaker there by the smallest member of the Dudley boys, Spike. With right hand there as well. Drop kick right to the gut of Eddie Guerrero. Right hands there, miss, but Eddie catches one. Count him with a back elbow there, too, that drops Spike Dudley. 
Spike now from behind into a sleeper hold. Trying to put Eddie to sleep, but it doesn't quite work as Eddie's still awake. There's no time for a siesta. As Spike Dudley drop kicks him right in the gut. Not once, but twice, just driving all the air out of Eddie. Trying to weaken the ribs so he can't hit those uh, three amigo suplexes or even the frog splash. Eddie now from behind the spike, hitting him with the Russian leg sweep. Now he's taunting, asking for no more. Somehow that worked out as he dodged a couple of Spike's attacks and then hit Spike with a drop kick that puts him down on the floor. Spike right, forearm there by Eddie, goes for another drop kick but gets hit before he can jump. Now Spike Dudley talking a little trash, gets that from his brothers. Drop kick by Spike yet again, right to the guts of Eddie Guerrero. Right hand dodged and blow, or sorry, not dodged, blocked and returned. Nick Patrick just ate a right hand from Eddie. Again, Nick Patrick gets hit so much, it's ridiculous. Good counter there by Eddie into the crossbody. Chopped there by Spike. This is the drop kick though. Right hands by Spike. And another drop kick. Lance flush into the guts of Eddie Guerrero. Now Spike going for the pin. Nick Patrick right on top of it, but not counting. I don't know why, but whatever. I mean, Eddie's the one that punched him, not Spike. Spike gets tossed into the corner. Drop kick to the knees. Spike Dudley by Eddie, but Spike's back up and whipped into the opposite corner. Nick Patrick keeps getting in the way. I don't know why he does that, but Eddie hits a spinning neck breaker on Spike. He gets up a little slower, but that's okay. And then a dragon whip by Eddie put onto uh, Spike Dudley. Both of them go for strikes and miss. Spike grabs him from behind into a Russian leg sweep yet again. A pinfall attempt off the Russian yeah. leg sweep. We got a one, and only a one as Eddie kicks out right away. Right hand mid or blocked and then connects by Eddie. Spike gets the back though, lifts him up, drops him down with a backdrop. Another pinfall attempt here. We got yeah. a one, and only a one. Kick to the gut by Eddie. Spike grabs him, lifts him into the ropes. Follows it up with a nice Herner Karana. Beautifully done by Spike Dudley. People forget how agile this little man really is. Eddie grabs him now. Go, moving from behind. Going for the roll up. Only a one count. The little bastard's able to kick out of it. Uh, we got some interference here as Eddie gets to the back of Spike. Moves to the front. But Spike pushes him off. We got Triple H. What is the game doing here? Why is he going after Spike Dudley? Oh, a low blow to Spike Dudley, just dropping him. Now him and Eddie both just dropping elbows and knees respectively. Eddie Guerrero hit from midair. But Spike Dudley able to counter Triple H's attack into his backdrop. Now a roll up pin there by uh, Spike Dudley. Gets a, not even a one count as Eddie's able to kick out right away. And a flying heel kick. Connects beautifully onto Triple H from freaking Eddie. Another drop kick by Eddie. And there are so many like attacks going on, I can't really keep up with it. Everybody trying to grab everybody. Triple H now going for a pedigree, but Eddie Guerrero breaks up for whatever reason. Just drop kicks them both in the legs. Triple H still going after Spike, but eventually rolls out of the ring as Spike clubs down Eddie. Go for a pin off of it. We got a one and only a one. Both men back on their feet. Spike Dudley gets behind Eddie. Picks him up. Drops him down. Beautiful back suplex landed right on Eddie's head. One. Only gets a one count out of it though as Eddie kicks out and moves right back to his feet. Hits him with the short arm clothesline. We got more interference coming. It's the nature boy. Ric Flair is out here and he's going right after Eddie. Puts him in the figure four leg lock, but Spike breaks it up. He realizes Eddie won't be able to, even if he taps out, it won't help. So Ric Flair hits him with a low blow. Both members have been hit, or both of these competitors have been hit by low blows from outside interferences. Eddie Earl drop kicks Ric Flair in the back of the head. Spike whips him into the corner. Ric Flair is right there. And again, he's going for that figure four leg lock. Will he be able to get it locked in this time? He does. Eddie's screaming, but he rolls out of it. Able to reverse the pressure onto Ric Flair. 
Now they're both going for a double suplex on Eddie. It's beautifully done. Spike Dudley just watching this Ed, uh, Ric Flair beating up on Eddie. He's talking a little trash. Can we confirm that Spike Dudley's going to the Four Horsemen or possibly even Evolution? I don't know, but Ric Flair going for a, uh, a backslide when he's not even in the match is quite silly. Eddie Guerrero getting a hold of Spike, going from behind into a Russian leg sweep, but no, Ric Flair breaks it up and then rolls out of the ring. Now it's back down to just Spike and Eddie. A Spike hits a Hernacarana with the pin. Nick Patrick right there, yeah. one. Only a one count. We have less than three minutes remaining in this matchup. Spike going for rope another break. pin, but that's a rope break. Right hand there by Eddie. Right hand by Spike. That puts him in the ropes. And a forearm yeah. sends him up and over. Eddie Guerrero to the outside. Two. Ric Flair already stomping on him. Three. Spike Dudley doing the same. Oh, here comes Triple H to just kick the shit out of Spike Dudley. Now, Eddie gets in the ring. Spike follows him up right away. Eddie, why would you go back out? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Spike goes back out after him. Both competitors in the ring. Oh, man. I thought they were about to get a double count out. I was about to get pissed. Right, Eddie Guerrero now from behind. Picks up Spike Dudley, but he reverses it into a crossbody. Got about two minutes left as Spike goes for a pin. Just a one count, though. Looking up, Eddie gets a hold of Spike, goes from behind into the Russian leg sweep. Beautifully done by Eddie Guerrero. Rope break. Rope break there as he goes for the pin. Right hand by Spike puts Eddie into the corner. Could be thinking Dudley Dog here, but no, he doesn't go for it. He goes for that forearm instead. Yes, I called it the Dudley Dog. I know it's the acid drop before you yell at me. He's in WWE here, it's the Dudley Dog. Get off me. Spike Dudley now hits him with a sleeper hole and drops Eddie. Follows it up with an elbow drop to the back of the knees, going for the pin. One, two. Gets a two and only a two. As Eddie Guerrero is able to kick out, Spike says, fuck that, I'm doing it again. One. It's a one and only a one from referee Nick Patrick. Like talking some trash as we approach the one minute mark left in this matchup. Both men missing some big strikes. Spike goes for another roll up. Could be it right here. We got one. Come on, Nick. You gotta count faster, dude. What are you doing? There's a one. There's a two. He finally counted the two, but he could have counted the three in that amount of time. Eddie Guerrero now from behind, a low blow by Eddie. Referee allowing all these low blows to happen. I don't know why, but whatever. Eddie going for the Hernacrana, but missed. A couple right hands by Eddie. Spike catches a kick, whips him around, gets the back, picks him up, drops him down with a back suplex. That could be it right here. Late in this yeah. match, we got a one. That should have been at least a two. What are you doing, Nick Patrick? You get one more chance to do it, Nick. One. There you go. There's a one. Not. Oh my God. The counting on this game is ridiculous. Nick Patrick fucking over Spike Dudley here in the last 20 seconds. Finally counts too quickly. And it's going to be a time limit draw. No points awarded to either competitor as we move on to the leaderboard. As you can tell, Matt Hardy and Spike Dudley still the only two with points. And they are tied at in first place with four points apiece. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time for more Raw Round Robin Tournament action.